Welcome to another quick Cinema 4D tutorial. Um, this one's going to be really quick, but just want to show you a quick trick on how to make sure that uh, your axes are exactly where you want when you start moving around in the scene or adding corners or other things to your scene. Uh, we talked a little bit about the PSR tool, um, which snaps it back to the middle of the scene, or if you've added a null and given it a different object and you put that as a child, it will, uh, PSR will move it to the center of wherever that null coordinate is. But I've got these two objects here. I have a sphere and I have a tree. And you can notice that in both cases, the axis is not centered. So I could enable the axis here and try to move it to exactly where I want. And, you know, do my diligence. And then you'll notice it's close, but you see that little wobbles in there. Um, so I know that it's not completely centered. So that's kind of useless, especially if you want to rotate wheels or um, you know any other circular object, things with motors and connectors, you're not going to want to have any kind of wobble in there. So a really simple trick, I'm going to click on my tree, mesh, axis center. And now I've got these options to, um, to snap my um, axis back to the center of my object. And if I just hit execute, it's going to do a perfect job of putting it right back in the uh, in the center. And you'll notice that the only wobble I have there is just based on my my model itself. But it's definitely right in the center. And you can see that as well with the sphere. If I go to Mesh, Axis Center, and Execute, the same thing. I can tell if I start rotating, there's no wobble there. That's definitely right in the center of my... Uh, center axis. Um, I can do other things too. Um, if I want to, you know, change the position, um, I could do, you know, sometimes we want to put things at the base. Um, so we could, you know, center all points or we could offset them slightly. Um, and so if I know that uh, I want to be closer to the base, well, that's the top. So it's going to basically use the whole object as a percent. 100% is the tip of the tree, and minus 100% is the base of the tree. Um, and so zero, the zero value is always going to be that, that center. Same thing with the sphere. Um, my base is going to be that minus 100%. Um, and the top, this will be the back, and this will be the front. And this will be the left and right, or the sides, the side extents of the sphere. So this is really a great way to, um, to basically make sure that your axes are always what you want them to be and not messing around, enabling access and dragging things around. So I hope this was helpful for you. I know it's been helpful for me. Um, thanks for watching, and please subscribe.